happy Wednesday, everybody. I apologize for the voice. I'm getting over a cold, so I sound like I'm ready for Halloween a little early. Um, speaking of Halloween, we just set up this activity for October. Um, it's a little bit busy right now because I put everything down at once to kind of show you, but it's a spider web, and there's a bunch of different uses. One, you could have nothing on here and just have kids walking along the lines. Um, two, what we've used it for a lot is staying on the lines and having to squat down and pick up the different bean bags without coming off the lines. Um, so you get in squatting, you get in body awareness, um, balance, all of those activities. The things that we just added, which are kind of fun, is for those kids that are working on visual and letters and numbers. So we put out numbers in orange and letters in yellow. And the goal is you have to go in order, so let's do numbers. So you have to hit the numbers in order by staying on the lines. So you would come to one, and we don't have them taped down, so technically they can bend down and pick them up. Then go to two. Clearly my feet are really big for this. Oh, I turned the wrong way, so I'm gonna have to find my way to three. So it's like, um, figure it's that figuring out where you are, you're having to problem solve, motor plan, how to get to places. Um, because we don't want to, I didn't, I don't want to cross five before I get to four. Get to four, five, and six. And then you can do the same with the letters or any other variation. And I would love to hear other ways that people have used the spider web on the floor. Thanks.